Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. In the next 24 hours, Matt will be home. He gets home really late tonight, and so Weston will be sleeping, but I'm gonna pick him up from the airport. And tomorrow morning, they will finally be reunited after three weeks. Weston, Dad is coming home. Isn't that great news? So I think what I'm gonna do is add some of the footage that Matt has taken over his three week period. Hopefully he'll take some video of his travel day and it'll all come together into this glorious vlog and they will be reunited. I'm so excited for Weston to have his dad back. I can't wait to have my husband back. We missed him. Here it is. Check this out. Got a dash cam going. Um, I'm going to try and do some filming. Um, <clears throat> i got to turn this down, sorry. I'm going to try and do some filming of the island uh, as I drive around uh, in a safe manner. Um, so I've got this dash cam mounted um, so I don't have to worry about it uh, or mess with it while I'm driving. Um, but I'm going to try and just film a little bit of what the island looks like um, and you can get a sense of um, what the challenges are right now as far as driving goes and uh, infrastructure and uh, what damage is still left to be cleaned up. I have to say it, the island looks really really good um, for being a month out of two category five hurricanes. I'm really impressed uh, with how much progress has been made already. Um, but there's still a lot to do and um, I just want to kind of document a little bit of that and hopefully give a sense of what life is like on St. Thomas um, at this moment. So here we go. You can see some uh, road damage right there. Um, you can see a little bit of debris on the sides of the road. Still some power lines, power poles leaning over, some branches, a lot of the debris has been cleaned up already. Um, there were trees and limbs lying all over the road. Uh, it was almost impassable. Or lots of places where it was just one car could get through because there would be a power line down or a pole. Um, I'm sure there's still some areas like that, but it's definitely, definitely improved. See some debris on the side of the road there. Roads are still a little bit washed out, um, just from all the rain. You see the power lines on the side of the road, uh, hanging over the hanging over the street. But none of these are powered right now, so um, they're not dangerous. You have to drive over them, like right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's getting there. This neighborhood was hit pretty hard, Moffoli. Um, stay Moffoli. Oh look, you can see some uh, National Guardsmen on the side of the road here. Um, here to help. So, this is what I really wanted to show you though, are these power trucks that are all uh, just sitting in this parking lot. These are all guys, I think, from the States. These are all trucks that got shipped up here. Uh, so this is kind of, looks like their staging area. And if you can see over there, all those power poles are all going to go get put up at various places around the island. Um, again, there's tons of power poles that are down, damaged or broken, or a lot of them are even broken right in half. It's really unbelievable how powerful those winds were to snap off a telephone pole right in half. Um, so there's the trucks again and the poles over here. So there's lots and lots of uh, great people down here uh, trying to help out the Virgin Islands and we appreciate them being here and um, 
they're gonna help us rebuild and make this island just as good as it once was. Oh, see, you can see these are brand new power poles. You can tell, nice and straight and new. This is a main thoroughfare, so I'm sure this is a top priority. So I'm going right now over to a, an area called Frenchtown. I uh, heard there's some pretty serious damage over there. Um, I also have something I'm trying to get done in that area, so I'm going to take the camera along and just check things out, see how things look. Um, I think you can see that the traffic lights are all destroyed and or not working. Um, it's a pretty good one right there, you can see. But so every intersection is a little dicey. I uh, just have to be very careful and pick your spots and try and be courteous to other drivers too because it's just difficult to get around. So as we come up to the waterfront area, you'll see all these stoplights are either gone or just not working. See a telephone pole leaning against the building over there. So that's what you know most of the island looked like. Uh, this building here is missing the side of its missing a wall. There's some scaffolding you can see up there. They're trying to get that buttoned up. Uh, but this is waterfront. Um, see the ferry dock is still there. But the ballpark across the street from the ferry dock got pretty level. Uh, this is one of the only hotels that's open on the island right now, Windward Passage. They are right on the water, but a solid building. This is the Frenchtown area. This is the Frenchtown post office. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's uh, pretty heavily damaged. This one's actually closed right now. You can see they pulled most of the interior out try and fix it. You see this van right here? I always love this this guy's van. He sells uh, palm oil, I think. And coconut oil. It's all bombed out now. This building got wrecked too. I don't know what that was. But it's pretty bad. Sure, you can see these buildings right here. They got hit very hard. Oh, it's basically just a shell. This one up here, the whole second level looks like it's gone. Third level, excuse me. Uh, this is another area that got hit uh, very hard. Wow. This is sub base. Uh, you can see this. Wow. You really can't see. <clears throat> Usually can't see all this stuff. It's all just leveled. This ship that's parked right here is housing relief workers. Looks like there's some buildings gone um, over here to the right. 
this used to be all buildings. Uh, didn't used to be any gaps there. That building uh, pretty heavily damaged. So I am right now in the line to buy gas and as you can see there is a little bit of a line but it's not horrible. Um, there's not, well I'm hanging out into the street a little bit, looks like there is a little line into the street but gas is available. Um, I think you just have to wait in line sometimes and I don't exactly have the the best timing tonight I think a lot of people are trying to grab gas uh, before they go home for the evening just like I am so um, just gonna be patient and fill up and uh, get what we can and take care of what we can today um, so gas station line awesome so I wanted to take a quick video of um, the traffic situation with the traffic lights not working um, you can see right out here this is one of the main thoroughfares uh, coming around town um, you can see the traffic just kind of backed up all the way up that road um, and then if you look a little bit further out over here is the road leading up to the hospital um, another main road pretty much completely backed up. Then if you look out down here by waterfront that road is also completely backed up. Um, you can see a little bit of the blue roofs um, that are sticking out. These are from the Blue Roof Program. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers um, helps people put temporary roofs on their structures uh, after hurricanes. So all those blue tarps that you see are roofs that were blown away during Irma or Maria. Excited to see you, buddy, at the airport. See you soon. I'm here. I'm at the airport. I'm about ready to pick up Matt. I got here a little early. It was rainy and I was a little worried about the roads. So I left the house early and now I'm a half hour early. And I'm just sitting in the cell phone lot like, where's this plane? Where are you at? I'm so excited. I can't wait for Weston's reaction when he sees his dad tomorrow morning. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Dressed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How are you? Every bag of this carousel. <laughs> oh, that one too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is that it? I don't know, isn't it? You had a carry on, right? Oh, <gasps> my purple bag. Did you? <laughs> Matt, you got a heavy tag. It's heavy. He's awake. Good morning, honey. Good morning. Oh, let's get those lights on. How are you? 
You know, there's someone here special to see you. There's someone here for you. Justin Charles. Hi. Justin Charles. Who's here? Good morning. <laughs> Listen, look who's here. Good morning. <laughs> I missed you so much. <laughs> Just like, oh, Did look you, who's oh, here. Buddy, how are you? I missed you so much. How are you, my boy? <laughs> You're going to tell Dad everything that happened while he was gone? All this stuff that's over here. Oh, yeah, he's in his new room. Yeah, is that what you're telling Dad? Wow, Wes, this place is great, huh? This is really good. Do you like it in here? No. <laughs> I think you do. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. I missed you, my boy. You give Dad kisses? I missed you, my boy. No, I'm how are you? You look bigger. You feel bigger. You sure are talking more. Oh, my son. <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> it's like you never left. <laughs> oh, but that's a big oh, smile for a little boy in the morning. You're going to get kisses all day today, I think. You okay with that? You want to go play? Yeah. Cool, buddy. Did you give Dad a kiss? You got yeah. a kiss for me? <laughs> give him kisses. Mm -hmm. Aww. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Uh. Oh, you're not going to let Dad put you down, are you? <laughs> oh. Here, buddy. Come here. <laughs> Mm. You got kisses? Mm. <laughs> <laughs>